we're, um, this is Ted and real angels from what was heaven um, trying to help control Ted. And we're telling you, Ted is not um, how loving um, many of you pushed God to be. You push God to be, you know, so loving and so full of mercy and so full of grace and so full of forgiveness. This definitely went overboard. And um, let's just say a specific percentage um, are not going to be saved even when um, Teddy ends to normalcy. Teddy in, in um, well, currently and in the future because uh, this again will happen where um, too many are pushing um, God's love, God's mercy, God's grace, and God's forgiveness. What is um, probably um, will be too um, lenient and will push leniency too much. And um, to uh, resurrect somebody from complete, a complete death is um, actually an enormous effort. It takes approximately 10 years to grow the brain and body from a cell in, um, currently in the creator systems. And Ted, who is God, has limited resources. He doesn't have unlimited resources to do this. It's no possibility he has unlimited resources to do this. Therefore, you have to um, realize um, he is not how Full mercy or grace or forgiveness you believe um, you know Jesus was who were trying to tell you Jesus um, was a huge false messiah and um, therefore this title of Christ it's really um, Jesus was a huge false Christ Ted is a true coming of child and messiah and will you know to use the title of Christ and Say Ted is a true Christ. Ted is a true, a true Christ and the Christ, the only coming to date on earth of Christ to earth. This is Ted. Ted is first coming. Ted is not second coming. Ted is first coming, and Ted will be only coming. There will not be. I'm currently looking three comings of God 100% to earth. This will be only coming of God 100% to earth. There will not be another coming. And there, there was not and will never be three comings of first coming of Jesus, second coming of Jesus, and third coming of Jesus. There were never prophesied to be three comings in the scriptures what existed in times of Jesus, and it was not even remotely planned to have three comings. There was only to be a coming, a coming, this coming right here. Ted is the coming. This is the only coming. This is current coming. This is the coming. This is Ted, right here, who Ted is pointing to with both fingers to forehead. This is a coming, a child, Messiah, what we will call Christ, and God to earth. The I am of everything. The line of Judah, right here, it is Ted. It is an only coming. It is first coming. This is only coming. Jesus was a huge false Messiah and a huge false Christ and a huge false coming. And New Testament um, shows you this. Never was supposed to be a prophesied to be Son of God. Never was ever supposed to reign up to a Heavenly Father or a Father in Heaven. The Child and Messiah and God and Christ were supposed to be the Father Himself, spiritual God to human God plain and simple. Therefore, this is why Ted is not and has not for years been communicating to a Heavenly Father or a Father God or God in Heaven or God or um, part of a Godhead trying God or Trinity where Ted is not Son of God. Ted is not part of the Godhead trying God or Trinity. Ted is not part of three in one. Is God sit on primary throne, the primary throne, not to right hand of God, not Son of God sitting on right hand of God the Father, not Son of God to God the Son sitting on right hand in a separate brain and body 
to God the Father on primary throne in a separate brain and body, and then the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, connecting these two for three in one, with the Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost would really be spiritual gods, spiritual. And when human, he has some spiritual, we're still saying he has some Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. It's done by um, angels with this authority for him currently while he's human and on earth. Therefore, it's not three in one. And the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost was only God's spiritual. It's not another separate thing and a separate brain and body. And, you know, you can be really eloquent with the language and you can religiously contort and you can make up all sorts of language and words that will really sound eloquent and really sounds, you know, divine and are holy and are sacred and even royal. And this is what, um, you know, many did. And um, you can use this to religiously contort. And you can use this to sound holier than thou. And you can use this to sound additionally educated and additionally intelligent religiously. And um, Ted was born and raised in USA, and he uses um, primarily American English. He even uses some slang. He even did some cussing. And um, Ted is the one, the one living God right here, the one living God. There was and is and will be only one. We were and are continue to be an Adam strict fierce. Monotheism, one in one, one one, one in one, one one, not three in one, never three in one, never part of a Godhead, triune God and Trinity, never three into one, never. We never um, agreed it was even remotely accurate, three into one. It was not accurate. This is terribly false, three into one. Godhead, triumph, God, Godhead, triumph, God, and Trinity doctrines were terribly false. There never was three into one. Okay. Some of you uh, will get this. Not too many these days. Uh, many have already um, made up their minds or um, decided to believe or believe. Um, Ted is false to terribly false and want to continue on with a uh, Godhead, Triumph God, and Trinity and uh, push this. They want to push their um, current church. They want to push their current doctrines. They want to wait. They want to look up in the sky for something to descend out of the sky in clouds surrounded by angels and clouds. When uh, clouds represented, these clouds represented uh, the nuclear weapons. These are the, this is the glory, this is the fire, these are the clouds, this is the glory, these are the clouds of glory, this is the lightning, thunder, earthquakes. These are nuclear weapons, plain and simple. Angels surrounded him in the sky, and him in the sky um, is never going to happen. You will never see this second coming expectation. You will never see it. And for third coming, New Jerusalem, Jerusalem is not going to float down from the sky and land on Mount of Olives or land on earth. And this also will never happen. Therefore, um, your um, expectations for a second coming and even a third coming are terribly false. We believe in many things that are terribly false these days. You're, you were and are and continue to be terribly deceived by this.